Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Guild Wars Wednesday! It's your number one source for all things Guild Wars Universe related content when I do all the work for you in finding your Guild Wars weekly fix. I'm your host Cake and welcome to the show today. Well today is a very special show guys. I know that I missed last week's show. I know I'm really sorry about that. But uh, there wasn't really much updates going on in the Guild Wars other than the Halloween update going on. And so I was just having a fun time playing Guild Wars. Of course, you can see in the background, I'm uh, showing you all the Halloween footage that I did. I did as much as possible, did all the events, got the Emissary of a Mad King title. And it was pretty exciting. And today's the final... Season finale of episode of season one, guys. I know it's just five episodes. It's five episodes, but it is the season finale of season one because uh, of several different reasons. One of them being, well, not enough viewer attention. The other one is, well, not so much updates are going on, and the crowd has sort of died down. And that's with any and all games with major MMOs, the very first day of launch you have a lot of people, lots of updates, and as time goes on, not as much. So I'm just going to uh, take a break from it, uh, will I ever go back to Guild Wars Wednesdays? I'm not entirely sure, it all depends, maybe like if I had uh, a thousand plus subscribers and some people wanted the show to come back, then I could start with season two of uh, Guild Wars Wednesdays and maybe make the show a little bit longer but for now this is the final episode of season one Guild Wars Wednesdays I hope you guys enjoyed that did watch it and uh, I will continue to post Guild Wars videos but it just won't be in this type of show so um, I hope you enjoyed the very last show and without further ado let's get on with the show sponsorship today's Guild Wars Wednesdays is brought to you by DollarShapeClub.com Get your razor for only one dollar. I get mine as well. It's sent to me every month. George today. News and updates. For the first update is the Lost Shores. Something stirs in the sea of sorrows. Unravel a mystery of monstrous proportions in the Lost Shores. A massive one-time world event that will change Tyria forever. And I will show you the Lost Shores heads up. Something is stirring in the Sea of Sorrows, and we want to make sure that you are not missing out. So here is a schedule, without spoilers, for you, so you can plan ahead. On Friday, November the 16th, at noon Pacific Standard Time, the weekend will kick off with an event in Lion's Arch that you don't want to miss. This will trigger events in other parts of Tyria as well. On Saturday, November the 17th, at noon Pacific Standard Time, Another phase will kick in. Each phase is triggered by a special event, but you will be able to enjoy additional content afterwards even if you cannot make the kickoff time. There is one exception. The event will culminate in a big finale on Sunday, November the 18th. Make sure you will not miss it. This will be a one-time only event chain that will run multiple hours and it will kick off at noon pacific standard time again this will only run once so make sure you will be there there will be plenty of content available to enjoy that will remain permanently in the world as a result of the outcome of this event on sunday we will give you more details once we get closer to the event but wanted to give you an early heads up so you can plan accordingly. So guys, make sure you are in the game during that time for this one time special event. And I'm sure they're gonna also have a title for this. And hopefully another mask. I had a witch's hat from doing all of the Mad King events. And of course, my uh, my best regards goes out to those who did were affected by the hurricane. I wish you all the very best. Another news, the Diorama Contest is officially over, and here is the official grand prize, the first prize, the second prize, so on and so forth, as well as honorable mentions. Now, they had all very wonderful, unique artwork that was submitted, and of course, if you wanted to check out the Diorama Contest, you can find the link below and find what prizes they got. Refer a friend, free trial is coming. We want you to experience Guild Wars 2 and, and Lost Shores with your friends. So on Monday, November the 12th, we will turn on Refer a Friend free trial. 
you will be able to invite up to three friends to play Guild Wars 2 with you for free from November the 15th to the 18th. So if you have anybody who wants to try out the game, feel free to give them a heads up. As for the updates in November the 7th, 2012, raw candy corn nodes will no longer uh, periodically appear in the game and November the 5th, correct drop rate for unidentified die. I'm really disappointed in this because every single day I was actually getting an unidentified die about uh, averaging about two to three dies every day and I was like holy cow this is awesome and then they corrected him like oh sad face but uh, other than that, the updates for um, November the 1st and before that uh, of course Halloween is gone and whatever's left is only this one guy in uh, Lion's Arch just standing there and uh, gonna give the hat off uh, to anybody who missed it because of, of course, the hurricane. Eventually, we were gonna only extend the gym store until the 5th of November, but they did extend that as well. So, uh, here's your chance, your only chance. You only have a couple days left, which is actually today. You only have today left to make it. And by the time you watch this video, it'll be too late. The gym store will have closed, so I hope you guys and, uh, bought the items you wanted from the gym store if you were going to use real world money like I did. And they actually look pretty nice so it's not too bad. Buffs and nerfs! As for the buffs and nerfs, there are none as of right now. So, say la ve. It has been great knowing the buffs and nerfs portion of this video. Gwinning! In today's winning, we have a video of a person mad out of the mind that jumped the clock tower with of course something in their face so they could not see where they were jumping is that muscle memory or what epic fan art time today's epic fan art time is brought to you by skaven zero and uh they have wonderful artwork very very nice artwork so kudos to this guy if you want to check out more of his stuff check out the link below GWWTF! In today's GWWTF, we have a video I'm going to show in just a second, a portion of it, that I uh, flat out laughed, and just check out the video. It's a, just a portion, and then watch his. Where is Quinn? He's dead, hero. We heard about the apothecary, and old Quinn really stinks at laying low, you know? Question of the week! And today's question of the week comes from Hermos from the main site. The question is, are these permanently in the game or temporary? Like the Great Saw, Great Sword skin? I mean, are they going to be removed from the game or are they now available forever? And the answer, it was in the very next one by Gosu. The chest will no longer offer them up after the 15th of November, so the supply will be limited from that day forward. If you mean, will they remain in the game once obtained? Yes, they aren't gonna vanish. That would cause a major outcry. Of course, the skins are forever lasting in the game, just like they were in Guild Wars 1. Random page! And today's random page is... Defeat Azalus Poison Tongue. Defeat Azalus Poison Tongue is a level 16 event that occurs in the village of Butcher's Block. And so that concludes today's Guild Wars Wednesdays. I know that it was very short, and I know that it's uh, the finale. Like, am I supposed, you know, something's supposed to come out of it with a blast. Um, the, as for the, the random page jackpot, I canceled that because, well, different reasons. One, this is coming to a close. And two, I had a bit of hardship with my move over from uh, one uh, employer to the other employer. And I needed money, and hey, there it was. But uh, I wish I could uh, have done more. But like I said, different reasons. I had to close. I had to make this show come to an end. I hope you guys aren't too disappointed, the ones that actually did watch the show and did enjoy it. There are going to be more videos with Go Wars, but I also plan to expand uh, with other games as well. Just where anything that I have fun with, anything that I have fun with, because if you're not having fun doing it, then why do it in the first place? Other than to make money, but in the same instance, it's not fun. And so I'm going to be producing videos that I think are fun and a blast. And uh, stay tuned, guys. There's more to come. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. You have a good time. And I'll see you later in Guild Wars Universe. Bye. Ah! <laughs>